Hi everyone, it's Jeff here from Avada. In this video, I'm going to be deconstructing the Avada Energy Homepage Hero section. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and click the bell icon to be notified of all new content. OK, let's begin. The Avada Energy Prebuilt is a dynamic prebuilt that is bold and adventurous, with a focus on irregular shapes and interesting design ideas. It has a definite lack of a standard grid pattern. As we can see here on the homepage, the header here combines with the page title bar below to create a fabulous hero section with an interesting design, bold colourful fonts, irregular boundaries and background effects. There are in fact two headers in use on this site. The global header is on all other pages than the home page here and it's a light header. If we just go to one of the solutions pages, we can see the light global header but with a similar approach to the page title bar. But let's focus on the home page with its dark header and connecting page title bar. So on desktop it looks like this. On tablets it's going to look more like this and on phones it's going to look like this. So plenty of responsive differences here. If we move to the header layout section we can see that a completely different header is used on tablet and mobile. And this is simply achieved by two containers with different rendering logic applied on each. OK so that's the header. It's relatively simple. But let's look at the page title bar. If we look at the Hero Page Title Bar Layout section and check the Navigator, we can see the structure here. There are two containers on Desktop, one with text and the image, and another for the description. And if we move to a smaller screen, we can see a different one for Tablet and Mobile that has all the content. OK, so let's go back to Desktop and look at how this has been constructed. To start, there are two columns. One is 56% with the title in it, and the other is 33% and that has the image element. If we edit the container we can see that the column alignment is set to stretch and that the column justification is set to space between. This is what pushes the columns to each side of the container. There is also a background color of color 7 on the container which shows up between the two columns. The title here is just a standard title with a large font size and set to color 1 with color 4 and color 3 respectively applied to two different words via the inline editor. The image is just a normal image with a mask applied on the design tab. The reason the container background doesn't show through is that the column background color is set to color 1. OK, that's the top container. Let's look at what's happening below. So if we look at this container in the navigator, we can see it's actually just holding three one-third columns. The first column is holding a text element and again has color 7 as the background color. And on the design tab we can see the column has some specific right and left padding to control where the text is being placed in the column. And 106 pixels at the bottom. The second column has a nested column with a button and an icon. Again it has color 7 as the background color. But here the padding is much smaller both top and bottom, leaving white space below. It's white because this container doesn't use color 7 as a background color. Instead, it has a transparent to white gradient and a background image. The third column itself is empty. You could also not have this and instead use a flex start column justification in the holding container so the first two columns sit to the left. We can see the background image here on the right stretching a fair way down as the container also has 144 pixels bottom padding. But what is the gradient doing? If we just go to that tab and reset the gradient end color, we can see the background image is now clearer and extends back behind the second column. With the gradient turned back on, it limits the background image to start at the third column and fade in. Very nice. If we take a quick look at the responsive container, we can see it's a bit simpler. It just has two columns. The first just has the title and a text block, and then a nested column with a transparent button. The reason a nested column has been used is to apply that two pixel green border to the bottom of the column holding the button. The right column just has the image, again with a mask applied. So that's the Avada Energy Homepage Hero section. It's using some different design ideas that illustrate just how flexible Avada design can be. Thanks for watching. This concludes our video on deconstructing the Avada Energy Homepage Hero section. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel to keep up with all the latest videos. And if you have any questions or need assistance, please create a support ticket and our team will gladly assist you. As always, we want to thank you for choosing Avada.